Hey Virgo Collective, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back. Hope y'all are doing amazing. Um, I felt called to do earth signs today, so I am doing earth signs and earth signs alone. <laughs> I'm all, Well, actually I'm doing Leo and earth signs. So if you have um, Leo placement, so maybe you're in the Leo Virgo cusp, go check that out or you may be connected to a Leo. Um, we're going to pull some cards though. Whatever comes out is what you need to hear. So take what resonates, leave what does not. Flip the rose if you need to. It could be past, present, or future energy or someone else around you I'm picking up on. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have inferiority. Yeah, somebody could be on the Leo Virgo cusp, or you could be dealing with the Leo who's in distorted energy. Questioning worth, not feeling good enough, feeling others are superior and insecure of capabilities. Yeah, somebody is. I feel like there might be somebody new that's interested in you, and they're not speaking up. We have a thriving love, making it through, overcoming obstacles, conquering hardships, and winning in love. So this is not a new person. This is somebody you do have history with, but you're probably not speaking. We have distrust, and this could be what it is. This could be an Aquarius for some of you. Um, feeling suspicious, unclear intentions, and past letdowns with trust issues. Strong Aquarius here. Ascension, spiritual awakening, rising above mundane, spiritually evolving, and path to enlightenment. Could be a Pisces, your opposite sign could also be um, a Virgo, another Virgo. So somebody here has been in this box. They've been trapped in this box, but they're ready to come out. They're ready to come out of this very inferior energy. I don't know what it is about you, but maybe you make them feel small, or maybe they just have trust issues that have absolutely nothing to do with you. But this is a person who hasn't been able to open up to you and give you what exactly it is that you want. I feel like you see this box opening up. This person is ready to open up to you now. They're going through some kind of spiritual awakening. This could be an unawakened twin who is finally realizing I got Virgo and I need to treat Virgo right. So this relationship could be um, about to make a unexpected positive turn here with thriving love. You're going to make it through. Okay, what's going on? Overcoming obstacles, cancer energy. What's happening here? We have the Eight of Wands, we have the Page of Wands, we have the High Priestess. I'm not taking all of these. Okay, yeah. This is somebody, Cancer Energy, Pisces, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius Energy. Somebody's about to take action, expect some kind of message. Um, could be a flirty text or something that's not going to be necessarily heartfelt. I feel like this person is suppressing with the High Priestess. This talks about intimacy. It also talks about like hidden intense feelings that somebody has for you. Um, it feels like they want to express it to you, but they are going to kind of pace themselves. There will be some kind of message. It may be a little bit forward, but it's not going to express just how much they want you. It could be coming over the next eight days. Okay, maybe you haven't been speaking. What's going on with distrust? Why are they feeling so suspicious? Why? Yeah, they've been let down in the past here. The emperor trying to stay in control. Aries energy. Somebody who just doesn't doesn't want to be controlled by their emotions. The emperor is not emotional. He's very head over heart. He's very mind over matter. Okay, law and order kind of person. Discipline, focus, responsible. This is divine masculine energy. Let's see what's going on with this. Could also have something to do with their father. We have the queen of pentacles. Okay. This person cannot imagine life without you. Whoever this person is, Capricorn energy, they want to provide for you. They want to take care of you. They want to give you a good life. Maybe they have been doubting their ability to do that. I'm seeing a promotion here for somebody. Somebody's getting promoted. This could be a boss calling you into the office. Yeah, three, the three of cups is here. Something to celebrate, a reunion. This is cancer energy as well. Somebody here misses having fun with you, but they're ready for, for a really stable connection with you. The emperor has traditional values. Um, it, this can have a lot to do with their upbringing, though. You see the mother pushing her son. They could come from a really affluent family or a background where they had a two-parent household where um, their needs were met, you know. But neither one of these cards are necessarily emotional. The Queen of Cups is, I mean, I'm sorry, the Queen of Pentacles is a nurturer. She is caring. Don't get me wrong. She is. But these cards... Um, the Queen of Pentacles and the Emperor are very money-focused people, very um, stability-focused people. It talks about being financially stable, being able to provide for the people around you. So I feel like this person was well provided for, but there's, there's something here that it could be that parents did not stay married. Maybe they went through a divorce or something. What happened between these 
two people. It feels like this is parents. Five of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. A breakup. The star, the king of cups, the ten of cups, and the king of pentacles. This person that you're dealing with, it feels like they grew up in a, a family. They could have come, they could come from a big family. Okay. Pisces energy. Again, your sister sign with the King of Cups. The King of Cups is Scorpio energy. But you also have another king here. I'm feeling this Five of Cups is a divorce. I feel like this person, their parents split up. And I feel like it really hurt them. Taurus energy with the star here. They always were optimistic and hopeful that their parents would get together. But I feel that this Queen of, um, Queen of Pentacles, their mother, which is what I believe she represents. Um, I believe that she, they could have even gone to counseling with this King of Cups here. But I feel like the mother ended up marrying someone else. That was her true counterpart because the Emperor and the Queen of Pentacles are not counterparts. But the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles is, okay? It feels to me like this person got their heart broken because their parents got divorced at a certain point. You may know this. You may not know this. Let's move on to Ascension. So this person, they have some um, reservations about opening up due to either fear of a divorce or breakup that they went through or their parents. It feels like their parents. What's Ascension? Ascension is the Page of Cups. This is them in childhood. There was some childhood wounds here that they had to heal. Maybe even abandonment issues. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And then we have the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like this person feels very comfortable. Virgo energy, being single. But they also have a fear of being abandoned. You see this, this Nine of Pentacles is walking away with this suitcase. And it's, look at the child. The child is just like having a ball. But the, the masculine here is walking away. I feel like this person has maybe daddy issues. Maybe even mommy and daddy issues. Mommy and or daddy issues okay i feel like this person feels very confident and comfortable being by themselves because nobody can disappoint me right um but i do also feel that this person is saying that you make them happy they like that you are independent but i think it also scares them remember i said that they could feel very small compared to you you're coming across this is your card virgo you're coming across as independent self-sufficient a boss living in a lap of luxury that's what this is Enjoying the fruits of your labor, overnight success, like just really thriving by yourself. Somebody can have a business here. You could have a, a social media presence. You could be an influencer or a content creator. What's going on with the Page of Cups with the Nine of Pentacles? You got this person's head in the clouds. We have the Two of Wands. Yeah, should I stay or should I go? This is what they struggle with. They always fear that people will walk away from them. Could be an Aries. Bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Wands. All they want is to build a successful, stable home with you. You feel like home to this person. But it also feels like this is their upbringing. Yeah, Spirit say yes. Yeah, Knight of Cups. This could be a Pisces. This could be an Aries. Somebody could be on the Pisces, Aries, Cups. And we have the Stairway to Light, number 22. Somebody could be 22 years old. They know you're the one. You've been made, here's the spiritual enlightenment right here, the ascension. Time alone with spirit. Okay, Virgo energy. And then the Ten of Swords here with the strength card. This person, they hold back because they don't want to get their heart broken. And look at that mother figure. Yeah, there's something here from this person's childhood that makes them very fearful. You see that Knight of Cups sitting there by himself. Knight of Cups is the Prince Charming. Knight in shining armor, somebody wearing their heart on their sleeve. Very um, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. <laughs> so you got the knight and the page of cups. This person is really in love with you. I feel like they may be slightly younger than you, but they see you as all this light and happiness. Let's get some advice for you. So somebody here is ready to make a small gesture towards you, a romantic proposal. This knight of cups is somebody asking you out on a date. He's just waiting for you to pull up. Now, why he ain't come pick you up for the date? <laughs> okay, let's see. We see that you are on the brink of a breakthrough that you have patiently been waiting for. A situation is about to come full circle. The lessons have been learned. They have. This is a win-win situation for you. Trust that we are working behind the scenes to ensure the best outcome for you. This is nice. So the best is yet to come. This is like the sun. Leo energy. Again, you could be on a Leo Virgo cusp or dealing with the Leo. The best is yet to come. Look on the bright side. 
Focus on the big picture. We have self-awareness is key. Take time to go within and spend time with your soul. That's, the, that's why you pulled the hermit. Yeah, this person is going through a, a serious spiritual awakening. Um, go for a walk in nature and, and ground yourself. Meditate. Listen to your favorite music. Whatever you enjoy most, do that today. So this person has been grounding. The last card is, it is time to stop letting worry rule you. Instead, get excited about your future and it will and what it will bring. What energy and emotion you put out comes back to you. With a little conscious effort on your part, the happy ending can all be yours. I'm sorry, can and will be yours. Believe that. Y'all, I swear I got this deck. I got this deck twice. It's just, it looks different. I hate when I do that. <laughs> Why do I do that? Because I remember saying last week I pulled this card in another deck and I was like, believe it. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, just wasted money. What's new? All right, y'all. That's going to be it. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. See y'all next time. Peace.